Hey guys, today what I'd like to do is create a simple Hello World project with CMake and C++. So the first thing you'll need is a folder. And we're going to name that folder Hello World. Inside the folder you're going to need two files. The first file is main.cpp. And the second file is cmakelist.txt. Go ahead and open up cmakelist.txt. And the first command we're going to type is cmake minimum required. And we're going to set the version to whatever version of CMake you currently have installed. So if you're not sure what you have installed, go ahead and open up the CMake GUI. And right in the upper left hand corner it tells you which version of CMake you're using. So I'm using CMake 3.7.1. The next command we're going to use is the project command. The project command does a couple of things, but its main purpose is to give our project a name. I'm going to call this Hello World. Another thing the project command does is give us a couple of variables. One of those variables is the project underscore name variable. The value of this variable is set equal to whatever you put inside the parentheses here. But to get that value, we need to dereference the variable. In CMake, we dereference a variable using the dollar sign open close curly brace syntax. And we just take our variable and put it in between the two curly braces. This project underscore name variable is a string variable. And in CMake, it's a good idea to put double quotes when dereferencing string variables. The reason for that is CMake uses spaces as its delimiter. And if you don't put double quotes around it, you may have a parsing error. The next command we're going to type is the add executable command. The add executable command creates an executable target in CMake and requires two parameters. The first parameter is the name of the executable. We can name this whatever we like, foo for example. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this project underscore name variable to name our executable. The second parameter is the source code that is required to build the executable. These three commands are all that's required to build our project, but I'd like to also introduce you to the install command. So we're going to install our target, and we're going to use the project underscore name variable once again to name the target. So we're going to install target hello world in destination bin. So bin is a relative path. It's relative to CMake install prefix. So the full path would look like this. In CMake, the pound sign creates a line comment. So everything after this pound sign is part of a comment. We're going to use the install command one more time to install our main.cpp file. And we'll install main.cpp in destination src. And src is of course relative to cmake install prefix. Okay, that's it for our CMake build script. Go ahead and save this file. 
and exit. Next, we're going to build our project with the CMake. Go ahead and open the CMake GUI. CMake requires two paths. The top path should point to your project's top level CMakeList.txt file, which is this file right here. So go ahead and copy this path and paste that into the CMake GUI. The second path points to the build directory. The build directory can be any directory anywhere on your computer, but what I typically do is I point the build directory to the same place as the source code directory, except on the end of the path here I type forward slash build. That'll create a new directory called build in our source code directory. Go ahead and click configure. Now CMake's going to ask us which generator we want to use. For this project, I'm going to use Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. Go ahead and click Finish. When CMake is done configuring your project, this window will be populated with CMake cache variables. CMake cache variables are used to customize your build, but for this project, we're just going to use the default settings. Go ahead and click Configure again, and then click Generate. Now go ahead and open up your build folder which is inside our source directory. Select a file called helloworld.sln. The first thing we'll need to do when Microsoft Visual Studio is open is we'll need to add our C++ code to main.cpp. So go ahead and navigate to main.cpp. and add your source code. At this point we can build our project, but we need to change our target from all build to hello world. So go ahead and right click on hello world and select set as startup project. Now build your project. As usual Microsoft Visual Studio doesn't hold our window open for us. If you want to see the output, go ahead and select Debug and start without debugging. And here you can see we have Hello World. Now what I'd like to do is install our target. Go to Solution Explorer, right click on Install and click Build. You notice here that we get an error. The reason we're getting an error is because when we install our target, at least on Windows, we install in Program Files x86, and Program Files x86 requires admin privileges. So in order to install our project, we need to go ahead and get admin privileges. So close Microsoft Visual Studio now, and we'll reopen Microsoft Visual Studio, but this time with admin privileges. Now that we have admin privileges, go ahead and select the install target once again and click build. As you can see, we successfully installed helloworld.exe and main.cpp. Go ahead and close Microsoft Visual Studio. You can close the other windows as well. Now I'm going to navigate to Program Files x86 and show you the installed project. This is our project right here, Hello World. And inside you'll see there are two folders. One is called bin and one is called src. And inside the bin directory we have hello world.exe. And inside the src directory we have main.cpp. Okay, that's it for episode number one of Introduction to CMake. In the next video we're going to discuss ctest and cdash. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.